Hey everyone, it's Kim McNeil coming to you from Soul Connection Studio in Calgary, Alberta and uh, ready to have a little bit of fun with a balancing pose that a lot of my students always want to know how to do and that's Bokasin or Crow Pose. It takes a little bit of guts, uh, a little bit of technique and a lot of core strength. So, um, and there of course there are baby steps that you can take to learn it just like any other uh, Iyengar based pose, right? We can take it in, uh, in steps. So the first uh, part I'm going to teach you is to get into uh, a variation of it from downward facing dog or Adho Mukha Svanasana to get the idea of placing the legs in the right position and maybe to balance a little bit before you go into the full, full blown pose. So regular Adho Mukha Svanasana on your mat. So nothing too fancy here. Releasing down stretching out your spine, you're going to shift your weight forward so that the uh, shoulders are over the wrists and then you're going to bring one leg, one knee to the upper leg and then come back and then do the other side. So it gives you that feeling of having the legs in the right position, okay? And it works your core. <laughs> so once you get that going and you feel like, yeah, not feeling too bad, then you can start bakasin on what I call your perch, which is basically just a block. But because it's crow, we like perches. So you'll place it in the middle of your mat. You'll come onto the block with the ball of your feet and your toes. Okay, and it's not the point of balancing beautifully here. You wanna come down into a nice squat. Knees wide, gives you a little bit more height to place the arms and to use them correctly to get the legs on the right place of the upper arms. So once your knees are wide, you've balanced, you want to place the hands like downward dog hands, shoulder width apart, spread the fingers, right, press down into all the different parts of the hands. And then I want you to bend your elbows a little bit and press your upper arms into your shins, okay? The higher up your arms you can get those shins and knees, the better it will be for the eventual pose. Then you're not going to fly forward, you're going to lift up. So, shifting your weight into your fingers, you're gonna draw the back up, draw the navel in and up, and then get a little bit of lift. Then you can play by lifting one foot and the other foot. Okay, find your perch and your back. Eventually, no block, coming down, coming into a nice squat. Place the hands, press the upper arms back, shift your weight forward and up. So it's not, it's not a face plant. You can always put blankets here if you're worried, but you wanna think up. Place the hands, navel up, round the back, lift one foot and then the other. And that's it. You can finish off in a nice resting pose. So play around with that. Have fun with it. Don't worry if it doesn't come right away. Uh, that's the beauty of yoga, okay? Trying, discovering for yourself, and uh, one day, I promise you'll get there. Thanks.